A lot of really upset people, a lot of really scared people. Students at Brightwood College packing the campus up today. They're hoping for some direction on what's next after the school abruptly shut down this week. Our 10 News reporter John Horn explains why it could be months before some land back on their feet. This is our car. And Brian Wentz spends a lot of time inside it. Back and then we took our pillows in already, but we have we have pillows and blankets that are being washed and whatnot. He and his partner Alan aren't homeless, but many mornings they do sleep in the Brightwood College parking lot. After all, they commute to class all the way from Rosarito, where their three bedroom condo rents for $820 a month. We get up at two in the morning, we get here by three or four in the morning and our class doesn't start until eight. That dedication all but cast aside this week when Brightwood College abruptly closed. The for-profit vocational school lost an accreditation amid more strict Department of Education requirements. But students still came back en masse on Friday. The Brightwood College parking lot so full you'd think classes were in session. They're not. Students packing the campus today just trying to get some answers. At least one Brightwood administrator and officials from two visiting colleges met with students to talk transfers and options. Media not allowed in. A student sent us these pictures. Wentz, a licensed vocational nursing student, also attended. It sounds credible, but again, it's still all in the works. We still need to meet with the financial advisors and feel what's going on, how everything's going to transfer and how. It's still pretty new to all of us. The state is also holding workshops for students students. They have a right to request a transfer or tuition reimbursement. The latter could force them to give up some of their credits. John Horn 10 News. Now former Brightwood employees are also filing suit against the college. They allege the school did not give them the required 60 days notice and pay before shutting down.